Hey everyone, it's CR7 here with another diecast review. And I'm gonna open this up kind of like how I did with the Harrison Burton review. So you already know what it is from, from the from the video title. I'm gonna get it out just to show you. And once again, I have censored everything with the uh, Gorilla Tape. All right, Here we go. Let's see. There's the packing peanuts, and oh, there it is. So today we're going to be reviewing Kaz Grala's 2022 Pit Viper sunglasses car. Looks pretty cool. Let me clean up the. Uh, backdrop before we can get to the unboxing now this is a die cast that i thought wasn't actually gonna get produced take a look at it take a look at the, the box and whatnot so yeah it looks pretty cool and i'm gonna do this little thing for the thumbnail there we go so anyways let's get into the review okay open this i had to hold the thing up like this so i can actually take a picture while i'm filming to get the thumbnail so yeah i thought this car wasn't gonna get, get produced but it did so yeah the car feels really cold because this came late in the night from where i am so and it's cold outside anyways that's besides the point let's get into the review starting with the car rolling on screen and rolled completely off frame. So let's get to the review. Imagine there's something off screen. All right, here's the die cast itself. We're gonna start with the front bumper. So here, you got the Chevy logo, the uh, number 50, and then the money team car, the money team uh, logo right there. Then over to the passenger side, you got Pit Viper, Momento NFT, uh, pitviper.com, the number 50, the Cup Series logo, Casagrala right there, and some contingencies on that part of the car, and some more associate sponsors on the quarter panel, and, and of course the exhaust pipe. Here's the back, we got the Camaro, Demand, Respect, and Authority, Pit Viper. And Z01, the Chevy logo, and the number 50 right there. And I'm not sure, that's the Money Team logo right there. I don't know. And here's the driver's side. It's the same as the uh, passenger side. And has the same decals. So here's the top. You got Pit Viper, uh, Growla, uh, windshield, number 50. And then the back, where it has Pit Viper on there as well. This car ran in, in the day 2500 uh, this season. And here's the underwing, just in case if anyone wants to see it. Camaro is Z01, used under license, and the EL logo right there. The uh, yeah, EL mold indicator. Now, I did see Wave 4 with NASCAR Authentics, and it did not meet up to my expectations. It's all PDC mold cars, which no one likes. <laughs> so, yeah, the. This car looks pretty cool. I like I liked to see it run uh, during the Daytona 500. So yeah, I might get some more die cast in pretty soon if I can. And also stay tuned for more CR7 fleet car races. I really enjoy doing those. So yeah, that wraps up the review on Casgrella's Pit Viper sunglasses car. Yes, if you don't know what Pit Viper is, they make uh, sunglasses. So yeah, anyway, subscribe for more diecast reviews and some other content. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.